Good morning, guys. Today, we have to build the meat bird tractor because my mom has the rooster and the couple hens for me coming soon. And I just need to stop putting it off and get it done. So Chase and I are going to Home Depot to get the wood and we are gonna get as much of it done today as we can. So welcome to the farm. Where are our furring strips right here? So we're thinking two by threes because they're gonna be straighter than two by twos. Why don't we just pull that number four out? Okay, we've decided on two by threes. Chase wants to go get a cart, so I'm gonna finish pulling out the boards. Here, you hold this. If I can get in the middle. <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> uh, is that good? Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. Hey, guys. So, there's been a wardrobe change. It is the next day. Naturally, we did not get enough wood. So, we had to go back today and buy about $30 more of 2 by 2 by 8s So, we have almost finished. And all that's left is to put the chicken wire on the gate, and then we're done. Yay!
except for the tarp a tarp will go over half of it to give coverage for the birds and then a latch needs to go over the gate Ta -da! sorry the lighting is kind of crappy it's raining outside but we are done. We are going to put holes down here so we can just stick a rope through and drag it that away. Um, and this is a little tight. We need to do some sanding and then add the latch, of course. And I'm going to get some small pieces of wood and just do a molding for these sharp pieces. But all in all, should be done. This was a bad idea. <laughs> should be done tomorrow um, morning, hopefully and then we can pick up the chickens. Woo! I might just pick up the chickens tomorrow anyways um, because I have a tarp here and you don't really need the molding. I really need to get the birds from my mom's because she's got stuff she's gotta do and I need to get them out of her way. So I might just pick them up tomorrow and finish it later. Who knows? So the small pieces of wood we're going to get from our neighbor who has uh, tons of spare wood that she's willing to let us have. And if I would had to buy a tarp that would have been an extra probably around $20. I might still have to buy one because I'm not sure the one we have here is big enough. But all in all, in general, this whole chicken coop cost less than $100. It was, it was about $90 with the wood from yesterday and the wood from today. Now, granted, that is very dependent on the current materials you have. I already had rolls and rolls of chicken wire. So I didn't have to buy a ton of chicken wire uh, for an eight by eight by two <laughs> foot uh, chicken tractor. And that would have been pretty expensive if I'd have had to do that. And even if you wanna go smaller, like even the hardware cloth is more expensive. So see, if we really didn't have the money to buy those two by twos and two by threes, we have a bunch of three by threes that we could have ripped down. Plywood, there's a bunch of two by fours behind here, more plywood. And scrap chicken wire. Now that chicken wire was a pain to straighten out and put on the tractor. But in the end, things will either take time or cost money. And I've got a lot of time. It's like really gorgeous outside. Overcast is my favorite. Pretty girls. All right, guys. Um, it's starting to rain, and most of my content occurs outside. So I'm gonna go inside. It's been a long day. I'm very excited to show you the chicken tractor when it's completely finished. So tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Until next time.